continue to follow breaking news, a traffic mess for drivers in Greensboro. Major bridge still shut down this morning after a tractor trailer overturned and then caught fire. Happened just before 4 a.m. Fox 8 has been reaching out to first responders all morning to get more details on this. Fox 8's Lauren Crawford live on the scene now. Lauren, you've been watching this. Are they making any progress in getting that cleared up? Yeah, Brad, they are, and we just got an update from the transportation officials about an hour ago saying that the ramp and bridge area over I-85 and I-40 is now expected to be closed until noon. Now, take a look right here behind me. Right now, you can see several crews and tow, truck, tow trucks stretching across the entire bridge on scene, working to come up with a plan on how to remove this vehicle. Now, from the angle we are at right now, you can see the aftermath of just what happened this morning before 4 o'clock. That's when the tractor truck trailer overturned and caught on fire. Now take a look at that fire damage on the front top part of the vehicle. You can see crews are having to also work to unload what's inside. Now for hours they've been approaching the trailer from all different angles, coming up with a plan, and as of 9 o'clock right now, it is still a work in progress. We are continuing to press Greensboro and Guilford County officials who responded to the scene. What kind of materials were inside, are inside, and if there are minor injuries or major injuries, we still don't know that yet and as of this hour still no word or information now meanwhile drivers heading towards 85 in the Mount Hope Church Road area are experiencing delays and backups due to this road closure the traffic we are seeing comes as drivers try to get off at exit 21 towards 85 north and then again near exit 132 near Mount Hope Church Road now, exit 21 is where the road closure starts before drivers get onto that ramp and that's about half a mile from where we are right now and I just looked at the map and it looks to be about a mile of the road closure on the bridge. Now, again, this has been an all morning process going on five hours now. We also just learned that Greensboro Police is leading the investigation, this crash investigation. So we'll continue directing all of our questions to them. Again, we are still working to learn what was inside of that vehicle and if there are any injuries this morning. We'll continue to bring you that new information as well as let you know when this road reopens. Live in Greensboro, Lauren Crawford, Fox 8 News.